Second semi about to get underway. Umpire to ball it up. Saints in the green and goal kicking. So Cam Ollett made the very, I guess, uh, the very most of his opportunity in front of goal there. All good fortune. Who knows? To the match here, St. Mary's really controlling things. A bit early momentum to Tiwi, but since then, all uh, all momentum and good good ball use and actual protection of the footy uh, to St. Mary's. Have to get enough on that to get it over Billy Varden down deep in the uh, defence and bounce through for a goal. David, yeah, really obvious uh, as you said, Daniel. The uh, Tiwi Bombers have a lot of numbers. Numbers around the football. Tiwi are waiting back for the turnover. Easy numbers out the back. They need to work harder, Tiwi. I think otherwise St. Mary's will start to capitalise shortly. Good effort from him. Under pressure now, the Tiwi Bombers. They are missing, without a doubt. Jared Cunningham up there. Really important stages. There's probably a couple of minutes to go in this first quarter. And as I mentioned, just a, a stepping up a notch, a good goal for Tiwi. But they, they don't want to let St. Mary's in. And uh, for most of the, the season, the last round. So Tiwi do that. Who knows how St. Mary's will react. Big Ryan Smith hunched over in the middle, gets up and wins the tackle. Ankara put the ball to a dangerous spot. Beautiful spoil from Kevin Tunderwatch and St. Mary's kick another goal from rebound 50. And that's the difference I was talking about. Southern District's supporters there, the president, Ray McCasker there. You can see him in the middle of that shot, hoping his team, because they play today, uh, if they lose... Uh, the... Look at that 8-1 to 2-5. It was 4-1 to 2-5. So Saints have kicked four goals this quarter, two to Ferguson. One to Justin Thomas flying for that one with no real effective spoil whatsoever. St. Mary's one just left the extra numbers on the ground for St. Mary's to mop up. Dave Kennedy, guys, just quickly, Kane Lewis, and he's maybe one of the football orientated defensively, so they're not taking into account where the opponent is or where the most dangerous player is. They're just being almost like bees to a honeypot. They're actually being drawn here late in this quarter to be even better, but uh, most importantly, they just need to keep St. Mary's. I guess the lid on their scoring capacity and make sure they don't get another one also in these late stages. It's all on Tiwi's defensive work and, uh, and not so much focus on the football from their point of view, I think. Seven goal to one second term here for St Mary's. Before half time back in their favour, but again, they, it's not about how many they kick, they need to make sure they stop St Mary's goals as well, especially being still seven goals down. Was it aloft? Grand final up for grabs here. Two quarters of footy left. Smith with the ruck work in the middle. Couldn't get a clear possession. Much in the box seat, but the passion's definitely still there for a, a number of the Tiwi boys. They need to get their teammates along with them. Smith again reaching for the tap down. Wilson caught in a tap. I don't reckon they're playing at any, uh, any point in this game, uh, the Tiwi Bombers, like a team that thinks they can actually win it. They can kick two or three goals here in a hurry. It's Albert Tip and Woody. Can they go back to the well again, the Bombers? Can they mount another challenge? Can they send another wave of... The Tiwi Bombers pay in, in that instance and put a real big gap, I guess, back into the uh, the scoreline. Teddy Liddy looking on. He's all... The pressure that side was on, not only from the players on the field, but the, the crowd was behind the Tiwi Bombers. They threw absolutely everything at them, and the Saints, haven't they responded well? Unbelievable. They do hold inside them, and and give themselves a chance, I guess, in not only running this game out, but preparing now for a what is possibly a uh, preliminary final next Message that there's a reason why we finished with 17 straight wins and we only dropped one game, and we're out to, to make sure we complete the puzzle at the back end of the year, the business end. Look, he should be extremely proud of the situation they set in as well, but he, I think he's got a very valid point there. They need to run this game out and give it absolutely everything. Send the message that this is their season. It's from him, Lee Crossman asking for them to make a contest, but uh, very interesting, just after that goal was kicked, very uh, quiet crowd here from the... ...need to maintain show that I don't think they've played a full quarter of football today so far, Tiwi, so they need to make sure they finish with one here. Saved a goal on uh, Rupert Papangamiri when he, he chased him down and saved a goal to Tiwi, but uh, he gets one of his own there. He's playing out on the wing at the moment. David. Guys, I thought it was... I was talking to Vic Ludwig earlier on today. I asked him to compare this Saints side with the other Saints sides that he's seen, given that they've had this incredible run this year. And he's... Was medal night. Can he win it, do you think? Is he one of the front runners? Shannon Rioli. Shannon Rioli. I reckon. I mean, just the way he plays footy, I, I, I like that. I reckon umpires will like that.